The Best Unlimited is on Verizon, America's most awarded network. It is the Verizon Halftime Report in Carson, 14-7 at the half. The Saints leading the Chargers. Welcome back, everybody. Ian Eagle along with Hall of Famer Dan Fouts. That first half uh, probably as close as you're going to get in this preseason to regular season action because we did see Breeze in the first team for the Saints, Rivers, and the first team offense for L.A. Your impressions of the first half from what you saw? Well, for the Chargers, uh there was a disaster for them after Rivers and uh, Eckler went out. Uh, Saints defense held the Chargers just eight yards. Uh, for the Saints, they look like a well-oiled machine offensively because they got Ingram and Kamara going. And then Tom Savage came in and let him down the field yep. and, and got some points, too. So uh, a good first half for the Saints offensively and defensively. And Savage needed that. I think Sean Payton needed to see that out of Savage as part of the second unit. Look at the numbers. 207 total yards for New Orleans in that first half time of possession in favor of the Saints and the Chargers Dan as you mentioned limited in that second quarter with only eight yards of offense second half expecting to see second unit players third teamers guys that are trying to make an impression here to these respective coaching staffs and front offices anxious to see Taysom Hill the backup quarterback for the yep. Saints he had a big play in the first half on the fake punt where he, he picked up the first down and for the Chargers Geno Smith who has bounced back from his troubles uh, earlier in his career should get a lot of playing action in the second half all right we'll have second half action coming up here from StubHub Center Back with the second half, the Saints and the Chargers after this from your local station. CBS Sports presents the Verizon Halftime Report. The best unlimited is on Verizon, America's most awarded network. 